Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. So Keely, you were saying that a bulk of your therapy is working with men who are dealing with premature ejaculation. And I know that this is something that, that plagues so many men. And so how do you counsel people on that? Yeah. Um, you know, it's interesting. I, I sort of found my way into, you know, helping men around the performance struggles because I was, I was actually kind of afraid when I started working as a sex coach, there was, it felt like the array of things that people could show up for felt pretty overwhelming. And, um, so I kind of picked like this, this focus of like, okay, I'm going to work with these people until I feel like I get my, my feet, my feet set. And premature ejaculation, or I, I normally call it early ejaculation because it's happening earlier than you want it to. But it, it sort of fell into my lap. And also I think kind of chose me my, my first, um, like sexual sex intercourse penetration partner struggled with severe, what I now know is severe premature ejaculation. And it was very confusing. And, um, you know, I was like, you know, 15, 16. So we didn't have a lot of language around it. It's kind of like before the internet, so there wasn't many places to go to look around these different topics. And, um, as we sort of moved through it, through our relationship over a couple of years, um, it, it ended up circling back around when I started my, in my private practice. And so kind of over a period of like eight, 10 years, I was just working with person after person after person, well, man after man, I suppose. Like at some point, I think like 85% of my practice was people who struggled with early ejaculation. And so I was just, you know, taking pieces of things I'd read and taking back stories from clients and just kind of like throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this, this struggle that men had. And eventually started to find like really, really clear paths of like, okay, this works here. This works then this is that. And i I'm very pretty analytical. So I like this, this kind of the structure of like, you do this first and then you do that. And, um, over time, it started to just become this wonderful thing where I could, you know, say to men like, hey, I hear you. This is really difficult. I get it. I, and I know there's not a lot of help out there and I can probably help you. And it's, it's such a wonderful relief when I talk to people and I'm like, hey, I, I can probably help you. Like most likely, I think I can probably help you. And what ended up happening was that I was just getting inundated with people needing help. And so that's when I decided to go and create an online course, which um, anybody who's listening can, can get access to because it was, I realized I was like with this structure, I can just give people the tools and information and they don't actually have to come and sit in my office and talk about it. But um, you know, it's, since creating the course, I've been able to kind of funnel people out towards the course versus working with me. And most people are able to kind of cure and heal that, that issue within that. But I still feel really passionate about bringing it to the population and talking about it because there's so much shame and so many men struggle with feeling insecure around how quickly they orgasm. And I think it's such an important topic to just normalize and, and say like, you don't, I mean, some of the clients I've worked with is like, they are suicidal. They have, you know, moved home with their parents and completely quit dating. I mean, it's just heartbreaking stories around the fear of like, what if I ejaculate quickly and this person judges me? And so I, you know, I'm, I'm really passionate about like, let's talk about this. Let's let men know that like, there is help. There is help out there. They're not alone. And it's, it's not a death sentence or like a relationship ending sentence either. So I think it's really important. That's so crazy, but not surprising at all that 
men can base so much of their self-worth on their sexual performance. And, you know, of course, I think a big part of that is the way society puts pressure on, you know, what it defines as a man and, you know, masculinity and the role that men have to play in the bedroom. And one of the amazing gifts of this podcast is being able to talk to so many different people, educators such as yourself, but also other men who, you know, look at sex differently, look at their gender roles differently, and has really kind of opened my eyes to, you know, what if we gave people a little bit more freedom in terms of, you know, just sexual freedom, like what they're comfortable with, like, and, and and we didn't hold people to these rigid roles of like what a man is, what a woman is, how you have to perform, what sex is supposed to look like. What I see is that so many men feel an immense amount of pressure to get hard, stay hard. You know, it's like, don't come too soon, but don't come too late. I mean, there's all these rules like you were just speaking to. There are all of these rules that I think you know, men and women feel like they have to follow during sex. And I think really helping people get number one, free of that box. I talk about it like a box. It's like getting free of that box and figuring out what is in sex for them. What do they enjoy? What is pleasurable? And kind of at the roots of, of the way that I treat early ejaculation is actually helping men find their pleasure. Like I, 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 totally understand that there may be this desire to, you know, last longer because they think it will pleasure their partner, which can be true depending on the type of sex you enjoy having. Yeah. It I depends. prefer if it doesn't go on for too long. Yeah, it, well, yeah. Well, so, and then that's the added pressure for men who struggle with delayed ejaculation. So right. the three main, main performance struggles for men is delayed ejaculation, um, a premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction, right? So there's all, it's, it gets tricky. It gets really tricky. But I think the most important thing is how are we teaching people about pleasure? And for the premature people who struggle with premature ejaculation, oftentimes you ask them about pleasure. They have no relationship with their erotic pleasure. Everything is happening so quickly. There isn't actually a sensation of, oh, that felt good. There's just, oh my gosh, and I'm coming. And I feel ashamed and embarrassed and um, my partner is going to be mad. And I mean, it, it's not actually the experience of like, oh, that was wonderful. Like, I love you, honey. Let's snuggle. It's this freeze. And oh my gosh, I wonder what she thinks. And I got to, sometimes there's the, I got to make something now happen with my fingers or my mouth. And so really it's about relearning how to relate with the body and for that person themselves, not for anyone else. I tell my clients, it's like, this is about you learning how to relate with the erotic pleasure inside of your body. Mm. Because what happens with early ejaculation is like the arousal starts to build and, and the body panics, actually. It's almost like a fight or flight trauma response. And the nervous system just goes, whoop. And so you either lose your erection, which happens in severe premature ejaculation, or you just move right into the orgasm. And it's all happening so quickly that there's no, um, like the, the person experiencing it with the body doesn't even notice it. They don't notice. I talk about it as like an anxiety curve, that their anxiety curve has just shot up. And of course their arousal curve just follows. And next thing you know, the ejaculation happens. Right. And so it's really about being able to learn to separate, like, can your arousal start to go and flow and follow what's pleasurable to your body while your anxiety stays as low as we can possibly keep it? And that's really the trick to being able to learn how to bring in arousal and to be able to stay in arousal and pleasure without jumping right over into that ejaculation place. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their Lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the Perfect Package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs 
that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.